Hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Dante Jones uh, here in the Dick Goddard Weather Center uh, for your live Facebook uh, forecast as we get into the rest of today and into the weekend. Uh, no doubt we're getting closer to Thanksgiving, so maybe you're uh, doing some Thanksgiving shopping uh, to get the, uh, the dinner started or maybe you're decorating for Christmas, uh, decorating the outdoors, and maybe you're just cleaning up the yard from uh, all the leaves and, and what have you. Uh, a lot going on this weekend. Browns, of course, uh, happening this weekend. We've got uh, some other events. We've got uh, Friday night football tonight. The playoffs happening for high school. Uh, so nonetheless, it's, it's a weekend as we get closer to Thanksgiving uh, that a lot of folks wanna do some things outdoors. And, and I think we got a good weekend. It's just real similar to last weekend. If you copy and paste what we saw last weekend into this weekend, that's exactly what we got. We got 40s uh, and sunshine, so it is a little cooler. All right, so let's dive in here. Uh, rain today, the rain will get out of here sometime around the evening rush. I'd say maybe about 6 o'clock-ish. Uh, we'll start to really uh, get the rain out, dry out. Uh, but we'll still keep some semblance of clouds around, so it'll still stay on the cloudy side. Once we do partially clear up, it'll be nighttime anyway. Uh, over the weekend, like I mentioned, sunshine, temperatures are, are chilly in the 40s for daytime highs, 30s for overnight lows. If you like it colder, you're going to love <laughs> You're going to love next week because we got the 30s instead of overnight lows. We got them for daytime highs. Uh, so that's why I got cold turkey on there because we are in store for some cooler weather. Maybe, maybe a little bit of the white stuff. That's just a little tease for you. You know, that that would be a tease. Um, uh, we, we could have uh, just some might see something around. Uh, but it'll be mixed in with rain showers, and I'll tell you when that is. But, you know, in that one of those uh, clickbaits or teases where, could we see snow or Northeast Ohio could see snow? And then you read into the article or you look at the newscast and it's like, oh, it's just mixed in with a little bit of rain and it's nothing. Or, that's that's what that is. That's what I just did there. I just baited you and teased you that we could see some of the white stuff. All right. So our, uh, so I'm sure our digital folks who who's listening to this like don't give away our secrets, Dante, <laughs> or our TV producers who do the same thing. Don't give away our secrets of of clickbaiting the people or teasing the people to watch our newscasts. But nonetheless, uh, that's just what happens in this business. We got to get the eyeballs right. Um, all right, so we got the rain showers moving through. Uh, there's a frontal boundary, and the snow is up into Canada. You can see it's uh, over towards. Um, uh, places like Ontario, just to the north there as well. Uh, we will see that transition next week into snow in upstate New York. So uh, in like Buffalo, coming off of Lake Ontario. That's where you'll see that here. Again, as I mentioned, uh, middle part of next week in the morning only. Uh, and I'll show you which day in a few. You guys stick around. There'll be a few wet snowflakes mixed in with some rain, but nothing really pure snow and nothing sticking at this point at this point because as we get closer uh then things change you know the, the atmosphere we get a little bit more information on the atmosphere and and that could change but right now it's just looking like just a few wet snowflakes mixed in with rain next week uh but right now we got rain showers just scattered rain showers temperatures are okay temperatures where we should be for this time of year uh in the mid 50s uh most of the rain is light there could be a moderate pocket here or there uh temperatures in the mid 50s so 52, Akron, Canton, uh, 57, Lorraine, 54, Ashtabula. But, but as the cooler air starts to infiltrate in here and the winds start to switch from out of the south to the, to the north, look at what's happening in Toledo. 49 in Toledo right now, 61 in Finley. So you see right where that front is, right there. Um, so just know that cooler air is coming our way. So it's going to get, get cool and breezy uh, for the evening time. Luckily, by the time it comes in, the uh, rain is going to be out of here. Look at the wind. So here's the important part. So notice how important winds are in the weather and the pattern. Winds out of the southwest where we are. We're in the 50s. Toledo, winds out of the north at 15 miles an hour over towards, uh, I think that's what, Wasson and then Defiance. Uh, winds coming in out of the north, they're in the 40s. You see that blue pocket there, that cooler temperatures, uh, and then some windier gusts as well. But look at Finley. 
west southwest at 10 miles an hour so just that those couple of counties difference right there uh you got a, a sharp difference in temperatures by about like 15 degrees or so so uh that's that northerly switch coming in later today is what's going to bring those cooler temperatures you see it right here wind gusts at 29 uh in toledo so the feels like in toledo they're at 49 so you get a 29 mile an hour wind gust so they probably feel like they're in the upper 30s or so uh in across uh toledo so it's going to be a chilly one uh, this evening with the cooler temperatures coming in in the 40s and the uh, breezy winds too. All right, some lower visibility because of the rain, a little bit of fog around as well. So uh, on my way into work this morning, uh, there was a backup on, on uh, what was that, 90. Uh, so there could be times that there could be maybe some accidents with some ponding on the roadways, a little bit of fog here and there, uh, maybe some slowdown. So just a heads up uh, through the rest of the afternoon. Uh, weather checklist, jacket and jeans type of weather. <laughs> you got to bring the jacket back out as opposed to the long sleeves the past couple of days. Uh, the coffee, the evening jog. I think you can get the evening jog in. Again, if you're jogging, say, 6 o'clock onward, um, you're fine. But if you're wanting to do anything before that, it's going to be soggy. It's going to be rainy. Uh, so the yard work, the decorating outside anyway, probably not the best because of the breezes, because of the, the, the rain showers. Uh, the umbrella you'll need this afternoon, Gabe Spiegel suggesting some chili and hot sauce uh, for lunch, which actually doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, we have a Wendy's that's up the street from us, so <laughs> I'm trying not to do fast food, but I mean, I didn't make any chili, so I mean, if I want some, I got to go somewhere where they have it. Maybe there's a fancier restaurant or something, but uh, it's so convenient because I got to do the four o'clock. So, you know, the four o'clock newscast, so I can't travel too far. All right, the evening fishing forecast, always, no, no matter where you are, if you're up here along Lake Erie or your own watering hole, um, it's going to be breezy and chilly this evening if you're doing the evening fishing. Uh, so just a heads up that you're going to want to pack the, the coat and the gloves and the hat maybe because you're going to be sitting out there for a while. Sure, if you're just getting out of the car and going into some place, you, know, you don't need all that. But if you're going to be sitting outside for a while and fishing up against the breezes, uh, we're in the 40s. And so it's going to feel like the 30s. You're going to need all that uh, to keep you warm out there. So just a heads up. Uh, the Friday night football games too, again, 40s, breezy. So it'll feel like we're in the 30s, but we'll, at least we'll be dry. Uh, the ground may be damp, uh, but at least the, the atmosphere will be dry. So uh, prepare for some hot chocolate and maybe a hot dog and some nachos or whatever at the concession stand. Now, we'll keep the cold temperatures for the Browns, but we get the sunshine uh, for the weekend. So that's the good news there, at least over the weekend. Shouldn't be too breezy either. The wind should stay on the lighter side. We got the candle walk light. Uh, candle light walk. <laughs> I just confused both of those words. Candlelight Walk uh, in Medina. And I believe that may be this evening. Uh, is some showers still lingering early on. And again, we get rid of the shower, say about 6 o'clock or so. But it will be cool and breezy. So it's going to feel colder. Uh, then Saturday and Sunday, at least we have some sunshine. But it's still going to be cold in the evening time for the Candlelight Walk. Uh, temperatures in the 40s and perhaps the 30s. Uh, and then uh, College Showcase in Canton, so the same thing. Uh, this evening, we'll cut the spigot off, uh, but it will be cold and breezy. Uh, temperatures in the 40s, but feeling like the 30s. And then Saturday and Sunday, sunny skies uh, and lighter winds, but temperatures still cold in the 40s. And then Crocker Park on Saturday, there's a tree lighting there. Cool and quiet temperatures uh, in the 40s. Here's the drought monitor. Though. We haven't had a whole lot of rain over the past week. Uh, and so when they take this drought monitor every Tuesday, uh, this is what we have. We've increased our abnormal dryness a little bit uh, across the area because we haven't had a whole lot of rain. So nothing really to write home about there. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we are dry. Tuesday, another front comes in, showers. Here's what I'm talking about. So those showers on Tuesday where we're warm enough, we're in the 50s. Uh, and then temperatures uh, drop overnight into the lower to mid 30s. So we could have a few wet snowflakes mixed in with the rain showers by Wednesday morning. That's it. So to, I w at this point, at this point, <laughs> I'm going to give you uh, just because you're here on Facebook Live, just because you're with me in an intimate setting where the fire is going in the back and we're having a fireside chat and it's warm and comfy. If you see any headlines for Ohio anyway, Northeast Ohio, saying snow next Wednesday for today. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. It's just some wet snowflakes 
mixed in with a few light showers and and that's it um but i say today because going forward who knows we, we may start to get more information you know that you know something's changing say monday or so and if you see a say oh there's snow for wednesday or what have you then that one you can more than likely believe but right now um, not so much just rain showers on tuesday tuesday night into wednesday with a few wet snowflakes Tuesday night into early Wednesday. High temperatures, ooh, it's going to get cold around here. 51 is our average for this time of year. Don't know what happened to that line. It's looking crazy. That's clearly not where 51 is. Ignore that line. <laughs> that line should be at 51. I should fix that at some point here. But uh, 40s for uh, daytime highs over the weekend, 51 on the money uh, by Tuesday, matter of fact, by Tuesday, our average may be around 50, so it might actually be technically warmer than the average, uh, but we'll still be in the wind house, uh, in the, we'll still be around <laughs> wheelhouse is what I was trying to say. You know, I have my coffee over here. I should take a swig of it. Um, temperatures in the 30s by middle to latter part of next week. Uh, yeah, that's cold. For Thanksgiving, it's going to be the coldest day. Just imagine we were in the mid-60s, upper 60s yesterday to a week from yesterday in the mid-30s. Oh, you got to love weather at these latitudes of the earth. It's just ever-changing. All right, so scattered showers this afternoon. This is around the time the kids get out of school. It's still going to be wet. still going to be uh, uh, soggy on the ground. Uh, even the evening rush, there it is, 5 o'clock, 71 and east, still seeing showers. If you're west of 71, you're starting to dry out, just seeing cloudy skies. And then there's 8 o'clock. We start to, we're, we're drier, we're, we're good, maybe even some breaking up of the clouds up by the lake, and then overnight tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, and look at all the sunshine there is on Saturday, and wind's coming in out of the west, so uh, it's going to be on the cooler side. All right, so today, scattered showers, breezy, cool, that 57 was earlier, we're falling through the afternoon. Uh, by the time we reach our, our afternoon temperature of where we would normally reach our high, We'll probably be somewhere around, I'd say, which will be about 3 o'clock-ish. So the next couple of hours, we'll probably be somewhere around 54, 53, somewhere around there. And then we'll drop into the 40s once that once that wind shift happens uh, in the evening time. 36 tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, breezy, and cold. So first thing in the morning, it is going to be chilly. And I'm not talking about the, the food either, but that, again, still sounds good. Um, or it could be frosty that food as well no it won't be frosty there won't be any frost i just want to add that in there keep the wendy's theme going <laughs> maybe wendy's can sponsor my forecast and give me free food <laughs> veterans day that is not veterans day i'm sorry that is uh, that's an old forecast that is just saturday that should just say just saturday temperatures in the 40s uh with sunny skies over the weekend all right monday we still keep it going 47 Partly to mostly sunny sky, still good. By Monday evening, the clouds are going to roll in, maybe even Monday afternoon. So Monday might be one of those days where we get the sunshine in the morning and then the clouds roll in in the afternoon. So if you really enjoy that sunshine, because I know this time of year, um, the gray skies and the clouds can kind of get, you know, a lot of folks down. Uh, and if you really like the sunshine, just kind of basking that all in. I think Monday might be one of those days where we have the sunshine in the morning and then in the afternoon ahead of the system that comes in, we get the cloud cover uh, and then the showers come in actually Monday night through Tuesday and Tuesday overnight. So 51 on Tuesday, that's the warmer part. That's the warm front. Then the cold front comes in here quickly on uh, Tuesday night. And we got the maybe the rain snow mix coming in there uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday because we're down to 32. So that could actually be uh, that could actually be some straight flurries there instead of a rain snow mix. Like I just mentioned, that could actually just be a few light flurries that won't really amount to much. But again, I say that's right now because. As we get closer to every event, every storm system, we start to get a little bit more information and become a little bit more accurate with what's going on. And so just check with us on Monday because it could be that maybe a, a, a dusting or so could happen uh, Wednesday morning or so. So just uh, keep that in the back of your mind. I didn't really realize how cold that temperature was going to be, 32. And that's the temperature that's up by the lake here in Cleveland. So that generally is a little warmer when you're by a body of water at night uh, and it's it's so away from the water so you're talking about places like uh maybe 
uh, Summit County, maybe Tuscaroras County, maybe Stark County, maybe Holmes County, Richland, Ashland County, those places, you could be colder. You could be in the upper 20s by that time. So obviously if you're in the 20s and lower 30s and there's precipitation falling, it's going to fall as snow. And so it could be some light snow uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Again, I'm not about to break out the headlines saying snow next week. No, we're not doing that. But um, just just keep with us because uh, right now there there could be some flurries in the forecast there for early Wednesday morning. But again, it's not going to amount to anything. Don't don't think that. Oh, here we go. We're gonna. It's not like last time. Remember uh, a few weeks ago we got that big, you know, like uh, two to three to four to five inches in some places. Crazy got like seven, eight inches. It's not going to be anything like that at all at this point. All right. So, but things do turn cold. Wednesday, Thanksgiving, Friday. Oh. 30s for daytime highs and mid 20s for overnight lows so we're starting to get into that time of year again uh where we start to see more and more 20s sneak in here for overnight lows and 30s for daytime highs so that's just the way the cookie crumbles this time of year we're used to it we live in northeast ohio we're pretty far north um in in terms of uh the nature of things we're nowhere near the tropics so uh that's what we got going on so um this weekend, looking good. Uh, this evening, if you're headed out this evening, after about 6 o'clock or so, we're dry, uh, but it is going to be breezy, going to be turning colder. So if you're headed out, bundle up. Uh, have, the, have the heavier jacket or the coat with you, uh, maybe some gloves or a hat or something. If you're going to be out for a while, especially if you're going to be at the football games or anything like that. Um, and then over the weekend, plenty of sunshine, thankfully, but it is just going to be uh, much colder. All right, so I, it's what, 124, so I'm going to get clickable in here for those of you who want uh, to get the updated forecast through the rest of the afternoon and evening. Uh, and then I got to start preparing and forecasting for the evening shows when my buddies Andre Bernier and Mackenzie Bart join me. Also, we have the Giving Tree uh, here uh, for the rest of the afternoon into the early evening until 7 o'clock. So if you have a moment, if you either have uh, some some cash to donate, some money to donate, or if you ha- want to buy a gift for kids in need, uh, we are here uh, doing that at, at the station at 5800 South Marginal Road or Dick Goddard Way uh, here in Cleveland. And so if you live here in Cleveland and you want to drop down or if you're going to be in the area today, you want to maybe stop at the store real quick, pick up a little gift and, and bring it down. We'll be here until 7 o'clock uh, accepting those. Santa Claus is here. Of course, you can meet you know, some Fox 8 personalities. Uh, we always love uh, to see uh, who's on the other side of a camera because obviously we don't work with a big studio audience. We don't see you all. We just see a camera. So it's always a treat, always, to see who's on the other side of the camera and who uh, really uh, graces us with your presence because you have so many options uh, to watch as far as newscasts and what have you and we're just so honored that you watch us so we're always excited to meet you who's on the other side of the camera so come on down bring a gift uh, on a dreary day so that you can make a bright day and a bright Christmas for some kids out there they had reindeer out there earlier I don't know if they're still out there but I'm trying to do this fast so I can get out there and meet a reindeer in real life. Anyway, uh, have a great one, and we'll see you all here in the evening shows.